paradox for Democrats is if they don't back Joe for a second term, the heir apparent, naturally, the vice president. Well, can we give it up for the first, second gentleman of the United States? I love my husband. Carl Rove, also love Carl Rove, is a former White House Deputy Chief of Staff and Fox News contributor. So this is the paradox, is it not? We have a guy who's in the White House that no one really wants to endorse, but naturally the next person they would say, the vice president, they don't want to endorse her either. Well, let's divide those into two separate questions. Let's dive into the first one. New York Times poll, should Biden run again? 26% of Democrats say, yeah, we'd like him to run again. And the younger you are, the lower that number is. Is that an outlier? CNN, roughly the same time, about two weeks later, 25% say, yeah, let's have him run again. Now, you know, it was 45% in the CNN poll when they asked it in February, which ain't a great number to begin with. But Democrats are done with President Biden. He is not going to be the nominee of the Democratic Party. He is not going to run. I've been saying this for an over a year. The Democrats are not stupid enough to nominate somebody at the age of 82 who already has difficulty stringing together two sentences. But Carl, so that's the first part. Carl, let me before yeah. we get to the second part, what if Joe doesn't go along with this deal? What if he says, no, I'm running, I want to run. What do Democrats do? How are they not going to nominate the guy? Are they just going to start running campaigns and primarying him? Sure, sure there. There's going to be somebody step up and say, with all due respect to the sitting president, I think it's time for a change in generations, time for a new generation of leaders to step forward and run. And guess what? They're going to get a lot of votes because Joe Biden is not going to get better over the next year and a half before we start voting in Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, South Carolina, wherever the heck this contest so, is going to start next so time. So, Carl, so, no, so Democrats are going to have to debate Joe Biden. Joe Biden's going to have to debate he, these Democrats on television uh, in a year and a half. He well, he, he, he won't debate him. He'll he find won't. a way not to lower himself. Oh. He'll simply say, I'm the sitting president. But no, look, look, J this is not going to happen. You can happen. do that? The Democrats, <laughs> the Democrats are not that stupid. Already, He's looking at these numbers. Democrat leaders are looking at these numbers. They will find a way. He, his family will find a way. He will find a way to come up to, and face reality that he should not run. It is not good for the party, and it's not good for the country. All right. Carl Rove, the prediction is on air. We can always go back and check the tape. Uh, we'll, we'll see, and we will play it to rub it in your face if you're wrong. We don't want to have to and do it. You, it, 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 it <laughs> and, if, and if he doesn't run, we can run. We, we can rub your face in it. Is that what we're saying? I didn't take a position. Out. Moral equivalency. I'm just asking oh, okay. questions. <laughs> I, I had the courage of my convictions. And, and you, you just well, you're, were the, you're the architect. You know more about this stuff than I do. That's why you're a guest on my show. <laughs> Carl, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for having me, Jesse. We love All our husbands. Best. Carl Rove. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.